children sai ram let us continue with our chapter surface area and volume with part 9 so today we will start with our exercise 13.3 in which we will see about the new shape that is a cone yes and we will see the formulas related to cone that is curved surface area of a cone and total surface area of a cone so let us see the formulas first so for a cone if you can see the shape which are the terms are required so if you can see the figure over here the that bottom is in nothing but in circular shape so this is your radius can you see over here this is a radius of the bottom so we will take it as r radius of a circle then this height so can you see over here this is a height this height we will consider as h and or this is called as a perpendicular height and this is a slant height and this slant height is we will denote by l okay so if only height is given so just listen carefully the important point because the here there are two types of heights in a given example if they will give only the height that means you have to consider as h value that is a perpendicular height and if it is a slant height they will specifically give in a question the slant height is it clear to all of you now what is the relation between perpendicular height slant height and radius can you see in this figure yes in this figure you can observe that the triangle is formed is it correct so which type of triangle is this this is a right angle triangle if it is a right angle triangle can we apply the pythagoras theorem yes we will apply the pythagoras theorem and that is nothing but the relation between the slant height perpendicular height and radius so by applying the uh, slant height by applying the pythagoras theorem we will get it here as l square equal to h square plus r square so l is a slant height h is a perpendicular height r is a radius so l square equal to h square plus r square and then the second formula the curved surface area or a lateral surface area please remember over here sometimes they will use the lateral surface area or they may use the curved surface area so here if you want you write it as or curved surface area both are nothing but same the curved surface area equal to pi r l so in lateral surface area or in curve we are using the l value that is a slant height we are not using the h value keep it in mind while solving the sums the next one is the total surface area equal to pi r in the bracket r plus l okay so by using these two formulas we will start with exercise 13.3 see the first sum the diameter of a base of a cone is 10.5 cm and its slant height is 10 cm find its curved surface area so look at the figure over here yes can you see the figure the diameter is given as 10.5 so first step will be what because we in the formula we required the radius so this diameter is 10.5 we will convert it into radius so 10.5 divided by 2 and this l value the l that is a slant height is given as 10 cm so we will use these both the values to find the curved surface area and what is the formula for curved surface area pi r l okay so let us start the given radius of the base of a cone equal to 10.5 by 2 which is equal to 5.25 the next step the slant height that is l equal to 10 cm and we will apply the formula over here that is curved surface area of a cone equal to pi r l let us substitute the value and find the answer so here we will apply the formula 
that is curved surface area equal to pi r l so pi value equal to 22 by 7 correct so pi value is 22 by 7 into r is 5.25 into 10 now so the solve the sum and the calculation 7 ones are 7 0 7 7 are 49 50 51 52 remainder is 335 so it will become 35 7 5 are 35 so it will become 22 into 0 0.75 into 10 correct so here first we will multiply 75 into 22 22 5 are 110 if you want or multiply by 2 2 5 are 10 carry 1 7 2 are 14 plus 1 15 again 2 5 are 10 carry 1 7 2 are 14 plus 1 15 so it will be 0 5 6 1 now please concentrate on decimal point i have done the multiplication of these two so 1 6 5 0 give the decimal point so after two digits multiply by 10 so it will become as what 16.5 multiply by 10 so it is 1650 if you give the decimal point that zero will get cancelled and your final answer will be 165 is it correct with the calculation understood yes so write down 22 into 0 0.75 into 10 which is equal to 16.50 into 10 which is equal to 165 so final answer will be what therefore the curved surface area of a cone is 165 centimeter square okay let us see the second sum find the total surface area of a cone if its land height is 21 meter and diameter of a base is 24 meter correct now they asked you to find the total surface area now see the figure the diameter is given as 24 meter so convert it into radius as 12 meter 24 by 2 is 12 meter l is 21 meter find the total surface area given so radius is what 24 by 2 equal to 12 meter slant height equal to 21 meter correct now what is the formula to find the total surface area which is equal to pi r in the bracket r plus l so the total surface area equal to pi r in the bracket r plus l substitute the values 22 by 7 into 12 into 12 plus 21 first solve the bracket so it will be 22 by 7 into 12 into 33 now let us start with the calculation first 22 into 12 so 22 into 12 12 to the 24 carry 2 12 to the 24 plus 2 26 now multiply by 33 3 4 is 12 carry 1 3 6 is 18 plus 1 19 carry 1 3 2 is 6 plus 1 7 take a 0 again multiply by 3 so it will be again same 2 9 7 so 2 9 plus 10 9 plus 2 11 carry 1 9 plus 1 10 plus 7 17 and 8 now just divide so you got it here as 8 7 1 2 divide by 7 so divide 8712 divide by 7 7 ones are 7 1 7 twos are 14 remain 3 7 fours are 28 remain again 3 so it will become 32 7 fours are 28 remain 4 now put the decimal point and take 0 so it will be what 7 fives are 35 if you want you can do it with one more step at 7 sevens are 49
So your final answer is 1244.57. Okay. So here we will write the final answer as 1244.57. Don't forget to write the unit. Read the question carefully. If it is given the values in centimeter, your area will come in centimeter square. If it is given in meter, it will be in meter square. And write the final answer as therefore the total surface area equal to 1244.57 meter square or centimeter square. So here we are completed with first two sums of exercise 13.3. Try the next sum also by using these two formulas only or we will just continue the remaining sums in the next period. I told you before, please buy at all these formulas. These are very very important. Correct? So let me at the end of this period, let me revise once again all the formulas. So which shapes we have learned till now? That is cube, cuboid, shape, then cone and cylinder. Correct? So the lateral surface area of cube is 4a square. Total surface area of cube is 6a square. Then lateral surface area of cuboid is 2h in the bracket L plus B. Then the total surface area of cuboid is 2 in the bracket LB plus BH plus HL. Then we have seen about the cylinder. Do you remember the formulas for cylinder? Yes. The curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi R H and the total surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r in the bracket r plus h. The next is cone. Today we have learned about the cone. What is the curved surface area of a cone? Pi r l and the total surface area is pi r in the bracket r plus l. And one more formula we have learned in cone that is a relation between slant height, radius and perpendicular height. That is what? That is L square equal to H square plus R square. Please every day revise this all the formulas which are very very important. Okay. So we will continue the exercise 13.3 in the next period. So till that thank you and take care.